Welcome to my channel. Today we are making some chicken quesadillas. I have some diced peppers and onions so, sauteing in a pan with a little bit of pan. Just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Kind of season them up a little bit. A little tiny bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Okay. Mix that all around. We really want these to sweat. I'm going to lower this heat just a tiny, tiny bit. When you don't use a ton of pan, your pan can start to smoke a little bit. So just be careful. And I don't like just the boring, boring plain cheese and chicken quesadilla. I like to liven it up a little bit. So that's why I'm making mine have a little bit of veggies as well. I'm just kind of making them lay a little bit flat. Okay, now I'm ready to add the garlic. I'm just going to throw that in there. Now, you always want to throw the garlic in last because garlic does not need to cook for very long and if it starts to burn, it will not taste good. It will get very bitter. Mix that up a little bit. I'm just going to add one little spritz of pan. And once you start to smell the garlic, and it only needs to cook for maybe about a minute, and it is done. That's good. I'm going to show you how I assemble it now. Okay, so here's all the ingredients. This is a chipotle mayo that I made myself by using a half a cup of light mayonnaise with one adobe pepper. I'm going to use one tablespoon of this today. This is the grilled veggies you just saw me grill with about three pickled jalapenos that I added to it. This is some grilled chicken that I made in my crock pot or some shredded chicken. Um, I do this by putting in some chicken broth and some fajita seasoning and I just cook it for about six hours and the broth makes the chicken really moist and shred perfectly. And this is one third of a cup of full fat Mexican cheese. I use the full fat for the quesadilla because it melts better and it holds the quesadilla together better okay and then this is just one of the Olay extreme wellness uh, eight inch tortilla wrap okay so I'm gonna start out with one tablespoon of this chipotle mayo and I'm just going to put it on half of the tortilla because we're gonna fold it in half so you only want to put the ingredients on one side of the tortilla Okay, and then I just like to kind of spread it around. Which is kind of hard to do on this plate. Okay. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my Mexican cheese. You're only going to take about half. And you're going to put it towards the edge of the tortilla, which is going to help it close later. Okay, take a little bit more. Perfect. And then you're going to take your grilled veggies. You can use as many or as little as you want. I think having peppers and onions in a quesadilla just kind of amps it up a little bit. Sometimes quesadillas can be so boring. And you definitely need to have a chipotle mayo. I got that idea from Taco Bell, actually. So it just adds a little bit of spice. Okay. Now I'm going to take this 
chicken. And we're gonna put it all over the quesadilla. Try not to get the larger ingredients towards the edge because it will fall out while you're cooking it. So it is better if you keep it close to the center. Now I'm just going to take the rest of this cheese and I'm going to sprinkle it on top. And now you just take it, fold it in half, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay. I have here a pan that's heating up and I have a little bit of this Pam butter spray. You're going to take this spray and you're actually going to spray it directly onto your quesadilla that I have right here. Okay? The reason for this is so, and as you spray, kind of move it like this so you don't use quite as much. The reason I spray it directly onto the quesadilla is because if you spray it right on the pan, you could run the risk of your pan smoking a lot because it's not going to take up your whole pan. Okay? Now, you're going to place it in. And I just kind of like to really press it down. Hear that sizzle? That's what you want to hear. Okay? Just be careful. You don't want to burn your hands. I'm going to let that cook for about like two minutes on each side. I don't know how well you can see. Okay. I'm going to let that cook for about two minutes on each side. And then when you go to flip it, you're going to spray this side with the butter spray again. Flip it. Let it cook another two minutes. And then just plate it up. All right. So I will let you guys see when it's all done. Okay, guys. So here is the finished product. I swear there's not a lot of sour cream on it. It's just that the quesadilla is still really hot and so is the refried beans. So the sour cream has started to melt a little bit. So I just want to show you the inside of what it looks like. I don't know how well you can see that. But you can see all the veggies, all the chicken. It looks delicious. So I'm just going to go over the points of values with you guys. So I like to pair this with some strawberries, fat-free refried beans, and lettuce, which are all zero points. Two tablespoons of low fat sour cream, which is two points. The chipotle mayo that I made for one tablespoon is one point. The chicken breast is zero points. The butter pan is also zero points. The Wegmans Mexican cheese full fat for a third of a cup is four points. And the Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap is only one point. So this whole meal is only eight points total. I hope you guys give it a try. Let, let me know below how you feel, how you like it, and I will hopefully be posting more recipes soon. Thanks. Enjoy.